Hi, this is Gary. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to calculate both the volume and the surface area of the object I have below here. We are going to start off with the volume. Now, I like to think of the volume in terms of uh, what fits inside of this object right here. And I'm pointing here to the inside here. I've got the inside dimensions there. So we want to know what fits on the inside. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is we are going to take the area of this triangle right here and we are going to multiply that times the uh, length of this box and that will give us the total volume. So that's conceptually what we're trying to do there. So uh, first we're going to figure out what the area of the triangle is. In the area of a triangle is uh, one half times the base times the height or 0.5 bh. So we know the base is six. So we can uh, put that for the base. Now we know the height is four. And uh, we rewrite this equation as 0.5, six our base total, uh, times four our height. So six times four is 24. and uh, 0.5 times 24 is 12. So we know that the area of the triangle is 12. And that is our area of the triangle right there. Now we know that the length is 15. So we take the 12 number and we multiply that times 15. And that gives us a total of 180. And essentially what we got here is we got the area of this triangle right here. That's 12. And the length of this which is 15 and that gives us our total volume which is 180 and that volume is what we can fit inside of that and that is conceptually how I would tackle a, a volume problem on this. Now uh, moving forward to the uh, surface area uh, part of this. Uh, this is a little trickier uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to conceptually think of this and I'm going to shrink it down here now the surface area is essentially uh, the area that's on the outside. Um, so when we see a picture like this, we only see one side of it. We don't see the other two sides, or three sides in this case. So I'm going to draw the inside of it just to give us a better conceptual idea. And uh, we have a triangle there, so that's one side. And then we have this side right here. We have the side on the back. And we have the triangle on the back side. And then, of course, we have the bottom. We don't want to forget that. Now, what we're going to do for the surface area is calculate the area of each one of these sides and uh, figure out uh, what that total area is. And we'll add them all together. So let's start off with the uh, triangle part. Well, we know the area of that is 12 from our earlier calculations, or 1 half the base times the height. So 6 times 4 is 24, and times 0.5 is 12. So we know that's 12. Now the other triangle is the same because this is parallel. So um, we know that triangle is 12 as well. Now the bottom, we know that uh, the base is 6, and we can multiply that times 15. So uh, 6 times 15 is 90. So we know that the bottom is 90. And now we are left with the side, or the two sides, of the back and the front side. And the question is, uh, what is that length right there? Well, it's not 6. We know that. And uh, what we want to do is we want to figure out what that length is. So I'm going to go to a different screen here. We know the triangle is uh, 4 by 6, and we want to figure out what the length of that side is. So, uh, if you remember the Pythagorean theorem, or the a squared plus b squared equals c squared theorem, that's how we're going to calculate uh, that side. So, uh, for a, we know the height is f uh, 4, so we're just going to plug in 4 squared, which equals uh, 16. Now, for b, uh, we don't want to make an error here. The, the length, the full length is 6, but we only need half of that because we're doing the triangle or the corner part. Uh, we're not doing the full triangle. So that's going to be 3. So it's going to be 3 squared, which is 9. And 16 plus 9 is 25. Now we need to solve for C. 
Well, we just take the square root of both sides, and that will cancel out the 2 with the square root, and then the square root of 25 is 5, or 5 times 5 is 25. So uh, we have c equals 5. So we know that c equals 5, and we go back, and that c right there is the side that we're looking for. And we go back to our previous uh, work we have right here. So we know that uh, 5 times 15 is 75. So uh, that is surface area of this side right here. And obviously the back side is 5 times 15 as well. So that's 75 as well. So now all we have to do is write all these numbers down and add them together and then we get our total surface area. So I have 12 here plus 12, that equals 24, plus 75, that's going to equal 99, plus another 75, which is going to equal 174, and then plus 90, which equals a grand total of 264, and that is our surface area. And this is basically how you go about calculating volume and surface area. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching.